Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's session. In today's daily breakdown, we're going to go over a few currency pairs on my watch list and see what potential trading opportunities we have and how we can take advantage of them. Starting off with um, JPYX, as usual. Um, so yesterday, I anticipated to see prices pump until they reach here. Obviously, that did happen. Um, we didn't catch, catch this whole move, but we did catch some of it. Um, yesterday, on this here, card JPY, we did manage to scoop a trade. Um, that's short, that's okay. So I did take a trade aiming for this low right here with my stops above that structure right there. It gave me a 5.6. So this was my aim, anticipating prices have broken below here. We're going to be aiming for these lows. Um, I did take this trade, prices dumped. I didn't hold until take profit, unfortunately, but prices did hit that and then dropped way lower. Um, so I, I closed once prices reached around here. As you can see, the momentum was starting to lose. And it was past my trading time. So I was like, okay, I took I took this as a day trade. It already gave me about 3.5 bar. So I closed the trade around here somewhere. Um, and then that was it. Overnight prices retraced, and then this morning during London, just boom, prices hit take profit. So it was a beautiful trade for those that held until take profit. Congratulations for those that closed. Where I closed at 3.5. Still, it was a great way um to end a Monday. So yeah, it was a beautiful trade we took based off the analysis that we did yesterday, anticipating to see prices, you know, pump until they reach somewhere up there. Now, what am I anticipating to see happen next on DX or on JPYX is that I'm anticipating to see prices retrace. I'm anticipating to see prices retrace until they reach this structure here. Somewhere here and then pump all the way up there. So that's what I'm anticipating to see right now happen on JPYX. So I'm eager to see how it will actually play out. On the one hour, we already have this kind of a reversal. But I'm not going to take a uh, trade on the opposite direction because I'll be trading against the trend. And that's never advised. Like never trade against the trend because your cards are most likely going to lose more than win. So yeah, never do that. So, but overall, this is what I'm anticipating. I'm anticipating to see prices dump until they reach here and then take off. So how is this going to impact the other currency pairs? Card JPY, I'm anticipating to see prices retrace until they reach on this um, resistance structure. You can see here it's clear, a very strong resistance structure. So I'm anticipating to see prices pump until somewhere here before they actually start selling. So that's my view on card JPY and how I'm anticipating it to, you know, play out. Um, we got Euro JPY. Also, prices have broken below here. So I'm also anticipating to see prices retrace on Euro JPY before they actually, excuse me, before they actually start selling. Although I'd advise against trading um, these retracements because you'll be trading against the trend, I'd really advise against that. Unless you're a scalper. Once prices retrace here, we'll be looking for prices to sell until they reach somewhere down there. So that's my view on the JPY pairs and how I anticipate them to play out. We got DXY. We can actually see prices right now. They broke below here yesterday. Um, so prices did break below here. I'm anticipating to see prices start selling 
once maybe they retrace from there and start selling. However, if we look in the lower time frames, I'm anticipating to see prices hit the 0 0.5 before they start selling. However, if we look on the lower time frames, we can actually see that prices are right now on a minor resistance structure. You can see that, right? So prices are on this minor resistance structure. So there is also a possibility that prices might start selling from here. But if prices fail here, they will actually start selling from here. Or we might see some kind of a week before it starts selling. Either way, it is what it is. But prices have very low momentum, as you can see here. Like the momentum has completely died off. And it's for that reason that I decided to take a trade on euro usd right here so price as well where they were still up here i took a trade it's a 10 pip risk um aiming for one ratio four how it plays out i don't know we never know how it plays out but prices did retrace all the way on break retest on this support structure and it's a 0 0.618 fibonacci key level so i was like okay two confluences actually indicating that prices will keep on pushing higher so I took my trade, took my chances. We win some, we lose some. I don't know the outcome of this trade and I don't care. That's a, that's how you're supposed to think as a trader. So I'm a, let's see how this trade will actually play out, aiming for prices to pump. Let's see. We got GU, prices have broken above, retested this structure and trend line. So we are waiting to see if prices will, you know, pump higher on GU. Same thing applies with gold. Prices have retraced all the way down here. Around the structure. So if DXY starts, you know, selling, I'm anticipating gold will start buying. So obviously, right here we have uh, inverted... Um, head and shoulders pattern. As you can see here, we have this left shoulder, this being the head, and then we have this being the right shoulder. So in case prices, you know, break above this trend line, it will be official, prices start selling. So we just have to wait and see how prices will actually play out. Um, but Prices have a very high possibility to actually pump from here until they reach this structure here. So let's see how prices will play out and hopefully we'll get uh, another trade before the day ends or in case if we don't, then okay, we already got one. So let's just see how it will play out. So with that being said, guys, I hope you have a great trading day today. New York sessions just starting. Hope we actually make something out of it. Till next time, guys. Appreciate you all. Take it easy out there. Peace.